Week six, welcome to YouTube. We're and back. Happy first week of summer. Yes. Oh yeah. And it's and been hot for us. Woo! So hot. Ooh. It's a hot first week mm -hmm. of summer. And also, we want to say just one more time. Congrats, class of 2020! You did it! I mean, we just had to get that out of our system. We're just so excited for you all. The fifth graders coming to sixth grade, mm -hmm. middle schoolers, welcome to youth group. I mean, as much as we can welcome you, we're not meeting together. Uh, and eighth graders, welcome to high school yeah. and our seniors. Congratulations. You did it. You did it. You finished. Yep. You made it through high school on to the next chapter of life. We're so, so excited for you all. Welcome to YouTube. Here we go. So, it's time for a game. Yeah, that's what are we doing? And so Justin usually works on the talk. You know, he's, I was going to say the <laughs> spiritual one, but <laughs> that didn't sound good. What? Come on. He's, you know, the thinker. I usually try to find the game. Yes. So yes. this week I found a game that looks kind of fun. Yeah. Or what are we just doing? maybe kind of funny. Okay. Um, so we're going to put some sort of tasty dessert. Mm -hmm. We'll see what we can cook up yep. in the kitchen tonight. Yeah. Um, at the end of the room, we will bite the other end of the room. And without using our arms, okay. we have to scoot our body across the floor and whoever can get to the dessert first in their mouth okay. wins. Mm. So we're like, we're like inchworm and we're like trying yes. to... Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, my, my only worry about this game is uh -huh. that you are a lot longer than I am, yeah. so you have a bit of an advantage because you, picked the you move and then you move <laughs> all the way to the other side of the room. Yeah. We'll see. It just looked funny, so we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it works out. Game. I got a little like tripped up. I was trying to move you out of the way and then I moved myself right out of the way. It's pretty good. Yeah. I had an extra waffle. Belgian. <laughs> it was good, but. Thank you, All right. Well, now it's time for our favorite segment of the night. It's Rona, Rona made, made me do it. it. Well, for tonight, for Rona Made Me Do It, we've been seeing these videos where like one person squats the other person, like they like climb up on their shoulders or they get mm -hmm. up on their back or something. Um, and we kind of just want to try that out, you know, maybe make fun See. of the people a little bit that are yeah. doing it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I don't know, I don't, we'll see if we can do Let's it. See. We'll see what happens, I don't know. Yeah, so <laughs> here we go. Well, it's time for announcements. Uh, we are going to meet again on Sunday, Breakfast Club, 1045 via Zoom. Let's stay connected. Keep hanging out with one another on Sunday mornings. We've really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. uh, make some breakfast. 
eat it together. Yeah. Uh, and stay connected during this time. Yeah. Even as we turn into summer, normally it's a time where we're a little more disconnected, but now it's an opportunity to continue to stay connected, mm -hmm. uh, even throughout the summer. Um, and also, like, if there's something you want, you need prayer for, yeah. or if you want to reach out uh, and stay connected in a way, yeah. just let us know. We'd for love sure. to be creative yeah. and, Give and any figure ideas. things out. Let us know. Yeah. We'll be thinking as well. It's yes. not all on you. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thanks. Well, we're going to have our message now for tonight. If you saw our video from earlier this week, we're going to be talking about joy. Now, as you might notice, uh, I'm here by myself. Uh, and just a few seconds ago, Stacy was sitting right next to me. Uh, she had to go. Uh, and put Emmett back down. He woke up while we were recording. So uh, she's been an amazing mom uh, and she's putting him back to sleep for the night. Uh, so uh, tonight we're going to be reading out of the book of 1 Peter, chapter 1, verses 8 through 9. And it says this. It says, uh, Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not now see him you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory obtaining the outcome of your faith the salvation of your souls so tonight we're talking about joy and the joy that comes through jesus like the verse in first peter was talking about we don't necessarily see him who we can know who he is and then there's this inexpressible joy that comes from knowing who jesus is living a life that glorifies and honors him uh, and then following him with our lives, right? <clears throat> so, when we were first born, we don't necessarily experience this joy. We can learn about it. Um, but as we get older, we grow up and we understand and can comprehend what this exactly looks like. And so, uh, as we are born sinful, we, we do understand though, that the, the world is broken, that there's like good and bad. We make a good decision and we make a bad decision. Uh, and... These things kind of influence our lives and these uh this sinful way or this broken way is the only way that we know how to live life but as we learn about who jesus is and we give our lives to him our minds can be transformed into a new way of living this way of living is to live life that um that the way we live life will give glory to god uh, and give him glory in the things that we do. So the way we act with one another, the decisions that we make, all of those things are done for the glory of God. And we're trying our best to do things and relying on him to give us the strength to do things that uh, give him glory and are going to honor the life that we've been given through him. Uh, that's We're going to be doing things that are honoring to him. So this transforming and renewing of our minds, uh, it lets us shift from this like self-centered, it's all about me, I just want to do things only for myself to get better and only better myself, doesn't matter how it affects other people around me, to how can I make decisions in my life for the betterment of others, how can I put others first, just like we talked about love last week, this other centered to this you before me kind of relationship and then through this as we do this we're living this life to glorify and honor god and we're bringing others in as close as we can to help them experience this and all these things are bringing us this joy in life because the purpose of life isn't just for this world the purpose is for something greater and that's eternity in heaven with god living in the presence of who he is forever now, it's this mindset that's that will give us joy, right? So as we know, um, there are some hardships in life. Uh, there are really rare, crazy hardships, like a global pandemic. But there are also hardships that we have faced because of this pandemic that kind of are, are more everyday, right? Like we honored our, our seniors this week on Instagram, uh, and we want to give a shout out to all of our junior hires and elementary school students that are now in junior high, junior highs that are now in high school, uh, you didn't get to wrap up your years, ever, all of us didn't get to wrap up our school years the way that we thought we were going to. And so that's a bummer, right? But we can still experience joy in all of it because we know, we can know through a relationship with Jesus that those things that we were really looking forward to, yes, they are fun and yes, they are really good, but they're not the sole source of 
fulfillment that we have in life. The fulfillment that we have in life is through having a relationship with God, uh, knowing that we are his children, uh, and that uh, we know that uh, there's more to life than just this life. This isn't it. Uh, there's more to it. Uh, and that is that we're living for a eternal, with an eternal mindset. We are making decisions now that are going to affect eternity. By doing that, we get to experience who Jesus is in our day-to-day -day life. And as we experience this, we uh, have this joy, right? So the, the joy that comes through, through Jesus or what comes through a relationship with Jesus is that we have a new family. <clears throat> our family is everyone who calls Jesus their king, right? Who, had, who calls Jesus their friend and has given their life to him. It's a new identity. We're no longer known just as, you know, I'm no longer known as just Justin, Stacy's no longer known as just Stacy, but we are known as children of God, right? And then it gives us a hope, this hope for a better future. So as we face these hardships in life, we have joy because we know that there's more to life than just right now, right? It doesn't mean that things still aren't hard, right? They're absolutely hard, but we can walk through them having hope and joy because we know that that's not the end. That's not the only purpose. And then also we can celebrate in the good by knowing that they are good and that they come from God, right? That these good and precious things are from God and we're giving him the glory as we experience. We're experiencing, experiencing it alongside him, with him together and with our friends and our family. Uh, and so as we walk through life, let's look for opportunities to be examples of joy to others who need it. And then let's also be aware of what God is doing in our life that can bring us joy. And let's live in such a way that is just different, that we love the people that are around us, that we are joyful in all situations because it is through Christ that we're able to do that. Well, TCC Youth, we love you. We hope you are doing well and happy first week of summer. We'll see you next week.